Today I'd like to do an earthquake preparedness video on a concept that I've been working on for the past few months now on PPE or personal protective equipment and where you could store it for deployment during an earthquake scenario. So during an earthquake we want to drop and cover and most of the time they recommend going underneath a secure surface like a desk or a table for example your dining room table or if you're at the office underneath your desk at work to ride it out. So during and after the earthquake, you're going to have to deal with the possibility of falling debris landing on you, for example, if your building was damaged. And so initially when the earthquake's happening, immediately go underneath the table for, and ride it out. You don't want to be searching for your gear or anything like that. And after that initial earthquake's over, most likely there's going to be some aftershocks that also occur. But I wanted to have some level of protection because I didn't want anything landing on my head, for example, for exa after the earthquake was already over. Maybe an aftershock happened a few minutes later while I was trying to evacuate the building because I thought it was safe and I didn't have any protective, protective equipment. So that's why I was looking at various PPE equipment like a helmet. I've been testing out helmets for the past couple of months to use in my various emergency kits. And for this one specific to earthquake preparedness, I definitely wanted to go with a hard hat. There's a reason why construction workers are required to include one with their PPE. It offers the best level of protection for a head and it's fairly inexpensive. The only problem again is that you can't just store it in the closet with your bug out bag, for example. You, if you want to have quick access to it to use in that kind of uh, earthquake scenario, for example, otherwise don't even bother, just go to safety initially. So that was kind of my dilemma on how do I get the hard hat stored in a location where I could easily put it on and yet still be protected by the table or the desk that we would go under during that earthquake? So my wife, Mrs. Urban Prepper, came up with a really nice idea. She's like, well, why don't you just store the hard hats underneath the table? Duh, I should have thought of that. And she was suggesting just having them flat up against the bottom of the table. And when we go under the table during an emergency or an earthquake, we would be able to access them very quickly. And I thought it was a really, really good idea. So I was talking about this concept during the recent prepper party that I had with some local preppers in the area and how this was something that I was working on for emergency preps. And Mark from Eat Carbs, he's a YouTuber, I'll put a link to his channel, a great channel, make sure you subscribe to it. He said, well, why don't you store your PPE equipment inside of the helmet? After all, it's basically a storage container, as you see here, just a round salad bowl almost. And I was like, okay, that's also an awesome idea. So then we could start storing some other PPE equipment. For example, if you wanna have some kind of gloves, if you want to have uh, some goggles, safety goggles, some ear protection, and maybe some kind of respirator mask, you could store all of them in the hard hat to use as a container and still attach it to the bottom of whatever table that you want to have it under, whether it be your office desk or your dining room table. So again, special shout out to Mark for coming up with this idea from the YouTube channel Eat Carbs. So now all I had to do was figure out how to attach it to the table. So now I'm going to show you how I'm currently attaching the hard hat container in addition to the other PPE equipment underneath the tables. First, select a sturdy table that you would duck and cover under during an earthquake. This could be a kitchen table or an office desk. You'll want to make sure that the desk has enough depth to allow the placement of the hard hat to not touch your knees during everyday use as you are sitting. For kitchen tables, I prefer the very center, and for office desks, I prefer one of the back corners. Next, put together your hard hat PPE kit. Again, the hard hat serves not only as the primary item, but also the storage container for all other PPE items. Here's what I'm currently including in my under the table hard hat PPE kit. For head protection, I have the Safety Works full brim hard hat. I go with the full brim version since it more evenly balances the storage load. It costs around $15. For eyes, I have the Uvex Stealth OTG safety goggles with anti-fog and anti-scratch coating. It costs around $13. For hands, I've been using the custom Leathercraft Handyman Flex Grip work gloves, which cost around $11. For mouth or for breathing, I have the 3M Flat Fold Particulate Respirator. They're individually packaged. And then for ears, I have the Howard Light Quiet Band Foam Earplug in the color orange. It costs around $5. Store all of these items inside of the hard hat, but ensure that you leave enough space for the middle of the internal head straps for later use for attachment. As a bonus item, you could also wrap a headlamp around the hard hat to aid in illumination. I tried to keep this version of the kit for less than $50, but I may add that in the near future for accessibility purposes. 
Now to attach the hard hat PPE kit underneath the table, I've been magnetically attaching it using a small metal plate and a magnetic hook. First I am using the Happy Bell mount metal plate for a magnetic car mount. It has a 3M adhesive to it. It comes in an 8 pack for around $12. And this adheres to the perfect storage location underneath the table, whether that be in the middle for dining room tables or in one of the back corners for an office table. The 3M adhesive also has been working well for me, but if there was ever to to become a problem with it, I could also have a more permanent solution such as screwing in a metal plate like the ones that are used as an outlet cover. At this point, I use a heavy duty magnetic hook to loop around the internal webbing of the hard hat and attach to the 3M adhesive metal plate. You'll want to make sure to get a strong magnet that could hold a decent amount of weight so the hard hat PPE kit doesn't detach unexpectedly. You could get a set of these online. For example, the 25 pound pool heavy duty silver metal magnetic hook set, which cost around $12. Loop the hook around the internal band and connect the magnetic end to the adhesive metal plate. You'll wanna make sure that the helmet kit is evenly balanced so it does not tip during storage. And that's it. You now have a small set of PPE items available underneath the table that can be easily accessible during an earthquake scenario. This is something that could be replicated and customized. You could potentially use the magnetic method for attaching additional items underneath the table, such as comms gear, a small first aid kit, and more. Currently, I'm just using this method for PPE gear for earthquake scenarios. I've provided direct links in the description box for all of the items discussed in this video. That's going to do it for this video featuring a possible storage location of a hard hat in addition to other PPE equipment to deploy during an earthquake scenario. Again, special shout out to my wife, Mrs. Urban Prepper, in addition to Mark from the YouTube channel Eat Carbs. Make sure you check him out for the ideas that they had to contribute to this project. I'm pretty happy with the concept overall. I think it could be very helpful for not only people within their home, but also in an office scenario to provide a level of protection during an earthquake scenario when you're ev actually ac evacuating whatever building you're at, whether it be your home or your office building. And having the hard hat especially will offer some level of protection from falling debris. So please leave your comments below in the comment section regarding this video and the concept of having PPE equipment for an earthquake scenario and Stay tuned for more videos. See you guys next time.